my. Whew, did we miss the biggest dip of the last few weeks? Uh... What's up, all my stock market investors? It's Shadai, and I'm back again with another Cash App Investing video. And I'm going to be talking about how I decide to pick my stocks, as well as some interesting things for you to know about what is going on in the market right now. Let's just get right into it. Yesterday, I was watching YouTuber Meet Kevin, and he was talking about this inflection point that happened on Monday. And when I started to really look at the graphs and look at the details, and I'm like, wow, like that, that really could have been, that could have been it. So I figured, let me share this information with my subscribers uh, for those who don't know what an inflection point is, it's a significant change uh, due to, you know, something that's going on right now. Obviously, we have the coronavirus uh, and maybe some other things that are being covered. But so we might have had an inflection point on Monday and inflection points are usually followed by a significant positive change. Right. So there is a good chance that we can see another dip. But. When you see a drastic, which we see Monday, if anybody looks at their graphs or any of the stocks, you'll see that Monday it just dropped instantly, right? And then now it's been, you know, kind of floating up. So we could see a significant increase, but if we get um, bad news that no one expects, because I thought that the, the you know, the jobless claims was going to do it, but the market had already priced that in. Because obviously they price in the futures that that's what the stock is is, is the future valuation of a company, and I think that the only way we see another dip is if we get bad news that we're not expecting that just bad news just comes out of nowhere. Uh, but you know it's still a good time to buy because we haven't seen the full jump. So everybody keep that in mind. We have not seen the full jump. It's still a good time to buy. So I mean I bought some Zynga today. But I think Monday is going to be another good day to buy. You know, last month, this past Monday was an amazing day to buy. I missed out, sadly, because I just thought it was going to get worse. But, you know, this Monday, be prepared. If we see another dip, because of the bad news that can happen on the weekend, trickling. I mean, as I'm making this video, the, the, the coronavirus bill hasn't been fully passed yet. You know, there's like a few senators holding it up. Uh, this is just this is all great news for us investors for us new investors right and i have to admit uh shout out to shout out to keith right he he went against my prediction of the cannabis stocks and he invested in till ray and till ray's paying him off right now till ray bumped up about 50 percent. so shout out to anybody who went against what i was saying on the cannabis stocks and invested into the kind of spot and made a little bit of money and you know I would recommend that if you made 50% of your money cash out on half and reinvest in some more companies or something else or have that cash sitting on the side so if there's another dip you buy right back in uh, to those companies so shout out shout out to Keith for taking that risk and that's what it's about y'all I'm not the ex I'm not an expert I just do my own research and I look at companies' balance sheets. I look at what companies are doing. I look at what the headlines are saying about the companies because a lot of a lot of things can get moved based off perception because a lot of people don't like to look at the details, at the fine details. It takes a lot of time. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I, I, I'm, I keep up with what the analysts are saying because that is perception. You know, a lot of people trade just based off what the analysts are saying. They don't do their own research. So... I do all those things. It's a lot of research. I look at, I mentioned in my previous videos, facts, set, earnings, reports. It comes out every few weeks and it breaks down and gives tons of information on the whole market, what to expect. S&P 500 predictions uh, for the rest, uh, for the next following quarters. So it's a lot of research, a lot of reading, a lot of watching YouTube videos, a lot of just keeping up with the companies, looking at balance sheets, right? Uh, there's, there's so many ratios, EPS, you know, debt to equity, 
there's just so much information that I try to locate in order to pick the stocks that I'm after. And, you know, with that being said, there's also a hunch in me, right? Because sometimes you can have all the best information and just, just you don't see it. So there's a, also a hunch in me that's like, ah, I think this one's better, right? And honestly, you know, I was having a debate with someone today and it's like, you know, there's so many things on sale right now that I feel like me personally, I feel like it'd be very hard to invest consistently right now and to lose in the long run, right? If you're investing consistently in diversifying, I would be extremely shocked if you were to lose in the long run. So that's what I do. And and I have conversations with people. I have conversations with my, with my subscribers. You know, I had one of my, uh, I don't even think he subscribed, but I had a, a, a person, um, you know, kind of combat a stock that I was talking about months ago. And it's like, I love that. I love the debate. Because it, it helps me find more information. Because you're going to find information to try to debate what I'm talking about. And that helps us both, right? Because I'm finding information that maybe you didn't find. And maybe you're finding information that I didn't find. So we're coming together and we're debating about all this information that we know. And in the end, it only makes us both stronger, right? So the things I do is look for information, research, stay updated with all the news, you know, YouTube. There's a handful of YouTubers, you know. Listen, I'm happy that you guys all watch me, but there's even more people out there that talk about it. So just mix up who you get your information from and just don't soak up everything, right? Just take it in and make your own analyzations based off of the other information, news articles, the balance sheet, everything that you're hearing. And I think that if you take all that, you'll be able to trade much more comfortably. You'll be able to buy much more comfortably. And in the long run, you should see success, all right? I don't want to be too long today. I hope you guys have an amazing Friday. And please, have that cash ready for Monday. Because if this bill doesn't pass and we get more bad news, more coronavirus reports, more deaths, it could be another great day to buy. Y'all have an amazing day, all right? Peace.